so today, uh, I'll be presenting kung paano kumuha ng UMID card sa SSS or the Unified Multipurpose ID. Kung first time nyo pong kukuha or kung uh, naiwala nyo po yung dati nyong UMID card, uh, narito po yung mga requirements na kakailanganin kapag kukuha ng Unified Multipurpose ID sa SSS. Okay, so let's start. How much is the UMID application fee? Magkano ang application fee para sa Unified Multipurpose ID? Okay, if you're getting your UMID card for the first time, you don't have to pay for anything. But if you're getting a replacement card, you'll need to pay 200 pesos at the SSS branch on your respective appointment. So wala pong bayad kapag first time po kayong kukuha ng UMID ID, okay? Wala pong bayad yun. Free po yun. Pero, kung kumuha na po kayo dati, ngunit naiwala nyo po, halimbawa na nakaw yung wallet nyo, tapos nandun yung UMID card nyo, or uh, halimbawa nakalimutan nyo, naiwan nyo kung saan, so, dun nyo po kakailanganin magbayad ng 200 pesos for replacement of your UMID ID. Paano mag-apply ng Unified Multipurpose ID Card? So, ang una-una po natin gagawin ay alamin kung ang SSS branch na balak natin puntahan ay mayroong UMID Enrollment Facility. Okay? Remember this, guys. Not all SSS branches ay merong UMID Enrollment Facility. So, kailangan nyo po munang uh, gumawa ng mga research kung yung SSS branch na malapit sa lugar nyo ay merong UMID Enrollment Facility. Kung wala naman po, mag-search na lang ng ibang um, SSS branch na merong UMID Enrollment Facility. Merong dalawang ways kung paano mag-set ng appointment. First, Online Appointment System or yung tinatawag nating online application. Pangalawa, Branch Walk-In or yung tinatawag nating Manual Application. So, sa Manual Application, ito yung uh, previous video ko, presentation ko, na kailangan nating uh, pumunta at least an hour before the SSS open. Okay? Para pumabigyan kayo ng queuing numbers nila. Susunod, accomplish UMID card application form. So later, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung UMID card application form at kung ano yung mga kailangan natin i-fill out doon, which part of the UMID card application form. Next, valid IDs. Some of the SSS branches ask for two valid IDs, pero nung pumunta po sa SSS Tambo, isang uh, photocopy ng valid ID nung po yung hiningi sa akin. Next, fill out the R6 miscellaneous payment form. Okay, this one, uh, para lamang po to sa mga kukuha ng bagong UMID card. Yung hindi po nila first time. Yung halimbawa, naiwala po nila yung dati nilang UMID card. So, kailangan nilang mag-fill out ng R6 miscellaneous payment form. Next, get an affidavit of loss. Okay, this one, Doon din po ito gagawin. Is, uh, yung guardian po yung magbibigay sa inyo ng affidavit of loss. Doon na din po i-fill out like yung mga important details like saan na iwala or kailan na iwala yung dati yung UMID card. Next, pay for the replacement fee. As I've said earlier, 200 pesos po yung bayad sa pagkuha ng bagong UMID card. Okay? Sa replacement po ng dati yung UMID card. Next, data capture station. Okay, dito na yung mga signature nyo, biometrics, at saka yung pagkuha sa inyo ng picture. And then, wait for notification from SSS on when you can pick up your UMID card. Okay, pag natapos na dun sa data capture station, bibigay na sa inyo yung acknowledgement stub na yun, and then kikip nyo po yun, and then text lang po kayo ng SSS, or uh, mag e email lang po sa inyo kung pwede nyo nang makuha yung UMID card. Or, kung sinabi nyo naman po na ipadeliver na lang sa address nyo, hintayin na lamang na i-deliver ang inyong bagong UMID card. 
Okay, so here is the Unified Multipurpose ID card application form. Okay, so here type of card application. Okay, make sure to check the appropriate box if it is initial enrollment, those who are uh, applying for first time. And then card replacement, kung naiwala yung card or damaged ba yung card at kung ano-ano pang mga dahilan. Okay, just make sure to check the appropriate boxes. And then, here, our 10-digit SSS number, you don't have to fill this out, itong dalawang to. And then, your name, first your last name, first name, middle name, suffix if any. And then, okay, date of birth, place of birth, okay, ayan. And then, if you're male or female, okay. And then, your father's name, okay, last name niya muna, first name, middle name, at kung mayroon suffix din. And then, yung mother's maiden name mo, yung pangalan niya sa pagkadalaga. Last name niya, first name, middle name. For three, demographic data. Ito kung saan yung address mo, kung saan ka nakatera. So, here, follow nyo lang po yan. Ayan, dyan, sulat nyo po yung mga details ng inyong address. Ayan. And then, postal code, country code natin is 63. And then, civil status, if you're single, if you're married, if you're widowed, annulled, divorced, legally separated, okay? Just check the appropriate box. And then, your height, it should be in centimeters. Your weight, it should be in kilograms. And then, distinguishing features, kung meron po, alimbawa, may nunal kayo sa isngi, sa ang, sa ang, uh, sa ang banda, sa kaliwa, ba, kanan. Or kung ano-ano pang mga features. Telephone number if you have. And then your email address here. And then mobile number. And then are you a pensioner? Okay, kung pensioner ka po, check mo yung yes. Kung hindi naman, yung no din po. Okay? And then sa last part here, uh, regular UMID card lang ba? Check mo yan. Pero kung gusto mong kumuha ng UMID card as ATM card, yan, din, yan yung box na i-check mo. And then, lalagay mo lang yung mga uh, details dyan. Bawa pangalan ng bank mo or kung anong branch ng iyong bank. Okay? Okay, next. Okay, this is member data. Ito kung uh, ang applicant ay surviving spouse. So, ito yung mga kailangan nyo i-fill out, okay? And then, letter C, certification, data, privacy, consent, and authorization. So, here, your printed name, signature, and the date you filed the application. And then, so, ito, hindi na po to, okay? Hindi na po yan. Doon na po yan sa uh, online. Doon mismo gagawin din online. Sa data capture station na po yan. And then part 2 to be filled out by SSS and data capture operator. Okay? So doon din po to sa uh, data capture station din po yan. And then, ito yung acknowledgement stub na ibibigay sa inyo kapag natapos na po kayo sa data capture station. So, yan po yung kailangan yung ikip kapag kukuha na kayo ng inyong or mag claim ng inyong bagong unified multipurpose ID. Alright? So, guys, this is the R6 miscellaneous payment form na sinasabi ko kanina na kailangan nating i-fill out kung tayo ay mag-a-apply for UMID card replacement. Okay? So, here, ayan, name of payor and then your address, and then amount in words. At, as I've said earlier, 200 pesos po yung bayad sa replacement ng UMID card. And then, check nyo, ID social security card, tapos yung inyong SSS uh, number. And then, eto, kapag natapos nyo ng bayaran, eto sa cashier po to. Ayan, nakikita nyo na lalagay dyan ng cashier na nagbayad na kayo and then yung pangalan ng cashier. And then, pagkatapos po nyan, eto, yung affidavit of 
loss. So, ito ay bibigay din po doon sa inyo ng guard or kung sinong uh, SSS employee po. And then, uh, fill out nyo lang po dyan yung mga important details, pangalan nyo, and then address, and then yung 10 digit is SS number nyo. And then, uh, ito, kung saan nyo nawala at kailan nyo naiwala yung inyong UBIT ID. And then, ayan, in witness whereof, I have here unto set my signature this kung anong araw, and then yung uh, complete name nyo, and then signature, okay? So, hindi nyo na po ito kailangang ipanotarize. Kasi nung pumunta ko doon ng SSS, okay na po ito na ganito lang. At pagkatapos po nyan, ayan, have your biometrics taken at uh, data capture station. Okay? And then, after nyan, uh, ibabalik sa inyo ng data capture operator yung acknowledgement stub. So, bali ito po yung magsisilbing resibo nyo kapag i-claim nyo na yung inyong bagong UMID ID. Okay? Keep this as your record. This will also serve as proof that you have applied for SSS Unified Multipurpose ID. So, uh, dyan po nagtatapos yung aking presentation about UMID card and I hope po na uh, nakatulong po yung presentation na to para po magkaroon kayo ng kaalaman kung paano kumuha ng uh, UMID card sa SSS. Kung first time nyo po or kung uh, magpapalit ng bago. Okay? Maraming salamat po and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> God bless everyone. Bye guys.